A remarkable reunion. Twin sisters adopted from China when they were just babies. One went to a family in Norway, another to a family here in Sacramento. They live thousands of miles apart. They speak different languages, but they're definitely sisters, twin sisters. Tonight, News 10's Suzanne Fon sat down with one of the sisters and her family talks about what it was like to meet up. Suzanne? Well, this is really an amazing story, one that makes you think about the meaning of family. These twin sisters have grown up in separate families in different countries and different cultures, but they share an unmistakable bond. Very, very similar. They had the same mother in China, but they never knew it until years later. Me and her twin sister Alexandra were found in a cardboard box and taken to an orphanage in 2003. Mia went home to Sacramento with Angela and Andy Hansen. Sister Alexandra went home with a couple from Norway. They looked exactly alike. We were told they were not twins. The couple stayed in touch and a year later decided to do a DNA test, which confirmed that the girls were indeed twin sisters. We didn't see them again until the girls were six. Mia is now 11 years old. One sister lives in Sacramento. The other twin sister lives thousands of miles away in a tiny Norwegian village with a population of about 250 people. Kind of crazy thinking how far she is compared to like the distance between normal sisters. Me and Alexandra occasionally send each other letters, but really they count on FaceTime. We do FaceTime every weekend on Saturdays and Sundays. They have a lot in common. We both don't like tomatoes or olives. Um, we both like chocolate. If we're really happy, we'll like jump up and down and squeal. I thought they really are twins. They really are. I mean, there is really something about each of them that is the same, that thousands and thousands of miles apart can't influence and can't change. The sisters have seen each other on a few different trips now. <laughs> Just a few months ago, they went to the Norwegian Emmys together. The documentary about them, Twin Sisters, won several awards. Well, it's an adventure now. Whatever they do, they're going to they're gonna find a way to be together. And this documentary, Twin Sisters, will be shown on PBS on Monday at 10 p.m. It's the first time it'll be shown in the U.S., but it's been out for about a, about a year now in Europe and has won all sorts of awards. And again, what a neat story. These girls are so cute. Well, I agree with the gentleman there. I think someday, somehow, they will find a way to, to be closer together and uh, more of a part of each other's lives. And he says, you know what? They're one big happy family now. Yeah, and with technology, they, I mean, the fact that they FaceTime every weekend together, I mean, that would have been unheard of just a few years ago to be able to do that and have that connection on a weekly basis. You know what's so interesting is that uh, the sister in Norway is learning English, and so sh her sister says, oh, her English is getting much better, especially <laughs> on FaceTime, yeah. thanks to FaceTime. And, and they're going to see each other again in uh, yes. March? In March, so they've got something to look forward to, yeah. definitely. Adorable. Yeah. All right, thank you, Suzanne.